All right, we'd like to now use the same program to control a real robot. We're going to change the original initialized robot here. Notice we've added the highlighted line R Comport 40. This one line causes the robot to start sending all the commands, not to the simulator, but out over a Bluetooth connection to a real robot. We're now running the program again. But this time, as you just saw, we've changed that one line telling it to use the RCOM port 40. When it does this, Robot Basic, every time it executes a command that uses, that asks for sensor information, or when it executes a command telling the robot to move forward or turn, any of those commands automatically cause the Bluetooth transceiver to send information to the Bluetooth receiver on this robot. Inside this robot we have that small program that we've written to interpret those commands and change the motor movements. You'll notice how the robot is moving, inching away just like it did in the simulation. It handled the sharp curves just like before. Now what you've just seen is a very powerful concept. Remember, we wrote this program to control the simulation, changed one line in that program, and the robot started responding immediately. Now I'd like you to see that this really is happening. What we're going to do, if you remember, one of our first simulations in which the robot didn't follow the line very well when it got to a sharp turn, we're going to change back to that program. Remember, we're not putting anything new in the robot itself, in the physical robot. We're only changing it back in the PC and then we're going to run that program again and now the robot will respond in that manner which means that on the real line if it gets to a place that's a sharp turn it's going to fail and lose the line and we're going to use that just to show that in fact this robot is responding in the same way that our simulations do so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the robot back on the line we're going to set it back on a straight area because it needs to be in a straight area or it won't follow at all because as we know it's going to fail Let's take a look. Now we're going to run the program, the one that failed, in the PC. And it's going to communicate with this real robot. Each time it moves the robot, it's not moving it all the way back to the line because we're using if statements. When it gets to this sharp curve, you'll notice that the robot again fails exactly like the simulation did. Well, I hope you've enjoyed what we've showed you about Robot Basic. Remember, it's an entirely free language that you can download for free from robotbasic.com. If you're really interested in robotics, all the things you need to know are in help files, so you don't have to buy a thing. But if you do need some extra help, remember our Robot Programmer's Bonanza gives you lots of information about detailed actions of programming a robot. If you're new to programming, we also have Robot Basic Projects for Beginners. It's really great for students because it gets them excited. It's got lots of neat projects about programming a video game, writing a paint program, studying the effects of gravity, all sorts of things that can be exciting instead of the boring things that most books use to teach you about programming. Now if you really like all sorts of robotics and things, I'd like to show you one of the projects we've been working on recently. This is a little robot we call Frank. And he's kind of a humanoid. And as you can see, he's a puppet of sorts, but inside we have many servos. There are seven servos that control Frank, moves different parts of his body. And we have a little electronic board in the back here. Let's see if we can pull it up and see it. This board is a parallax board that controls the servos, and we can communicate it from Robot Basic 2. In the back of Frank's head, if we look carefully here, you can see that he has servos in there that control his eyes and eyebrows and mouth. And we've had an article in Servo Magazine coming up soon that's going to tell you all about Frank and how he can be used. Hopefully sometime in the future we can give you a video about him if we get some interest. So go to RobotBasic.com, download your version of Robot Basic, get to work on programming these things, 
and even write us. There's information on the webpage. Write us and tell us if you'd like to see a video about Frank and more information about him. Hope you enjoy it.